Eye Surgery, Wikipedia Article Audio Eye Surgery, also known as Ocular Surgery, is surgery performed on the eye or its adnexa, typically by an ophthalmologist. The eye is a fragile organ, and requires extreme care before, during, and after a surgical procedure. An expert eye surgeon is responsible for selecting the appropriate surgical procedure for the patient, and for taking the necessary safety precautions. Mentions of eye surgery can be found in several ancient texts. Today it continues to be a widely practiced type of surgery, having developed various techniques for treating eye problems. Preparation and Precautions Laser Eye Surgery Cataract Surgery Glaucoma Surgery Canaloplasty Refractive Surgery Corneal Surgery Vitreoretinal Surgery Eye Muscle Surgery Oculoplastic Surgery Eyelid Surgery Orbital Surgery other oculoplastic surgery Surgery involving the lacrimal apparatus Eye removal Other surgery Since the eye is heavily supplied by nerves, anesthesia is essential. Local anesthesia is most commonly used. Topical anesthesia using lidocaine topical gel are often used for quick procedures. Since topical anesthesia requires cooperation from the patient, general anesthesia is often used for children, traumatic eye injuries, major orbitotomies, and for apprehensive patients. The physician administering anesthesia, or a nurse anesthetist or anesthetist assistant with expertise in anesthesia of the eye, monitors the patient's cardiovascular status. Sterile precautions are taken to prepare the area for surgery and lower the risk of infection. These precautions include the use of antiseptics, such as povidone iodine, and sterile drapes, gowns and gloves. Although the terms laser eye surgery and refractive surgery are commonly used as if they were interchangeable, this is not the case. Lasers may be used to treat non-refractive conditions. Laser eye surgery or laser corneal surgery is a medical procedure that uses a laser to reshape the surface of the eye. This is done to correct myopia, hypermetropia, and astigmatism. It is important to note that refractive surgery is not compatible with everyone, and rarely people may find that eyewear is still needed after surgery. Recent developments also include procedures that can change eye color from brown to blue. A cataract is an opacification or cloudiness of the eye's crystalline lens due to aging, disease, or trauma that typically prevents light from forming a clear image on the retina. If visual loss is significant, surgical removal of the lens may be warranted with lost optical power usually replaced with a plastic intraocular lens. Owing to the high prevalence of cataracts, cataract extraction is the most common eye surgery. Rest after surgery is recommended. Glaucoma is a group of diseases affecting the optic nerve that results in vision loss and is frequently characterized by raised intraocular pressure. There are many types of glaucoma surgery and variations or combinations of those types that facilitate the escape of excess aqueous humor from the eye to lower intraocular pressure, and a few that lower IOP by decreasing the production of aqueous humor. Canaloplasty is an advanced, non-penetrating procedure designed to enhance drainage through the eye's natural drainage system to provide sustained reduction of IOP. Canaloplasty utilizes microcatheter technology in a simple and minimally invasive procedure. To perform a canaloplasty, 
an ophthalmologist creates a tiny incision to gain access to a canal in the eye. A microcatheter circumnavigates the canal around the iris, enlarging the main drainage channel and its smaller collector channels through the injection of a sterile, gel-like material called viscoelastic. The catheter is then removed and a suture is placed within the canal and tightened. By opening up the canal, the pressure inside the eye can be reduced. Refractive surgery aims to correct errors of refraction in the eye, reducing or eliminating the need for corrective lenses. Corneal surgery includes most refractive surgery as well as the following. Vitreoretinal surgery includes the following. With approximately 1.2 million procedures each year, extraocular muscle surgery is the third most common eye surgery in the United States. Oculoplastic surgery, or oculoplastics, is the subspecialty of ophthalmology that deals with the reconstruction of the eye and associated structures. Oculoplastic surgeons perform procedures such as the repair of droopy eyelids, repair of tear duct obstructions, orbital fracture repairs, removal of tumors in and around the eyes, and facial rejuvenation procedures including laser skin resurfacing, eye lifts, brow lifts, and even facelifts. Common procedures are Many of these described procedures are historical and are not recommended due to a risk of complications. Particularly, these include operations done on ciliary body in an attempt to control glaucoma, since highly safer surgeries for glaucoma, including lasers, non-penetrating surgery, guarded filtration surgery and sedan valve implants have been invented. Keratomilysis is a method of reshaping the cornea surface to change its optical power. A disc of cornea is shaved off, quickly frozen, lathe ground, then returned to its original power, automated lamellar keratoplasty, laser-assisted in situ keratomilysis, laser-assisted subepithelial keratomilysis, a.k.a. apelasic photorefractive keratectomy, laser thermal keratoplasty, conductive keratoplasty uses radio frequency waves to shrink corneal collagen. It is used to treat mild to moderate hyperopia, limbal relaxing incisions to correct minor astigmatism, astigmatic keratotomy, a.k.a. arcuate keratotomy or transverse keratotomy, radial keratotomy, Hexagonal keratotomy, epicaratophagia is the removal of the corneal epithelium and replacement with a lathe cut corneal button, intracorneal rings, or corneal ring segments, implantable contact lenses, presbyopia reversal, anterior ciliary sclerotomy, scleral reinforcement surgery for the mitigation of degenerative myopia. Corneal transplant surgery is used to remove a cloudy-slash-diseased cornea and replace it with a clear donor cornea, penetrating keratoplasty, keratoprosthesis, phototherapeutic keratectomy, pterygium excision, corneal tattooing, osteoodontokeratoprosthesis, in which support for an artificial cornea is created from a tooth and its surrounding jawbone. This is a still experimental procedure used for patients with severely damaged eyes, generally from burns, eye color change surgery through an iris implant, known as bright ocular, or stripping away the top layer of eye pigment, known as the stroma procedure. Vitrectomy Anterior vitrectomy is the removal of the front portion of vitreous tissue. It is used for preventing or treating vitreous loss during cataract or corneal surgery, or to remove misplaced vitreous in conditions such as aphakia pupillary block glaucoma, pars plana vitrectomy, or trans pars plana vitrectomy, 
is a procedure to remove vitreous opacities and membranes through a pars plana incision. It is frequently combined with other intraocular procedures for the treatment of giant retinal tears, tractional retinal detachments, and posterior vitreous detachments. Eye muscle surgery typically corrects strabismus and includes the following, loosening slash weakening procedures, recession involves moving the insertion of a muscle posteriorly towards its origin, myectomy, myotomy, tenectomy, tenotomy. A ciliarotomy is a surgical division of the ciliary zone in the treatment of glaucoma. A ciliectomy is one the surgical removal of part of the ciliary body, or two the surgical removal of part of a margin of an eyelid containing the roots of the eyelashes. A ciliotomy is a surgical section of the ciliary nerves. A conjunctivoenstrostomy is an opening made from the inferior conjunctival cul-de-sac into the maxillary sinus for the treatment of epiphora. Conjunctivoplasty is plastic surgery of the Conjunctiva. A conjunctivorinostomy is a surgical correction of the total obstruction of a lacrimal canaliculus by which the conjunctiva is anastomosed with the nasal cavity to improve tear flow. A correctomediolysis, or cordomediolysis, is an excision of a small portion of the iris at its junction with the ciliary body to form an artificial pupil. A correctomy, or cortomy is any surgical cutting operation on the iris at the pupil. A core lysis is a surgical detachment of adhesions of the iris to the capsule of the crystalline lens or cornea. A core morphosis is the surgical formation of an artificial pupil. A core plasty, or choreoplasty, is plastic surgery of the iris, usually for the formation of an artificial pupil. A choroplasty, or laser pupillometriasis, is any procedure that changes the size or shape of the pupil. A cyclectomy is an excision of portion of the ciliary body. A cyclotomy, or cyclocotomy, is a surgical incision of the ciliary body, usually for the relief of glaucoma. A cycloanimization is a surgical obliteration of the long ciliary arteries in the treatment of glaucoma. An iridectomesodialysis is the formation of an artificial pupil by detaching and excising a portion of the iris at its periphery. An iridodialysis, sometimes known as a cordialysis, is a localized separation or tearing away of the iris from its attachment to the ciliary body. An iridinclesis, or coronclesis is a surgical procedure for glaucoma in which a portion of the iris is incised and incarcerated in a limbal incision. An iridesis is a surgical procedure in which a portion of the iris is brought through and incarcerated in a corneal incision in order to reposition the pupil. An iridocorneosclerectomy is the surgical removal of a portion of the iris, the cornea, and the sclera. An iridocyclectomy is the surgical removal of the iris and the ciliary body. An iridocystectomy is the surgical removal of a portion of the iris to form an artificial pupil. An iridosclerectomy is the surgical removal of a portion of the sclera and a portion of the iris in the region of the limbus for the treatment of glaucoma. An iridosclerotomy is the surgical puncture of the sclera and the margin of the iris for the treatment of glaucoma. A rhinomectomy is the surgical removal of a portion of the internal canthus. A trypanotrabeculectomy is used in the treatment of chronic open and chronic closed angle glaucoma.